Uh, hello everyone, and welcome to the first of a new series, uh, sort of a new video series I'm trying out here. And like most of my videos, pr series probably just end up fizzling out at some point. Um, this will be documenting um, my adventures into the world of sim racing. I know. Trusting me with racing virtual vehicles, God help us. And for this first episode, <laughs> uh, we're going to be um, racing some trucks over at the Hungara Ring, if I pronounce that correctly. Um, with the guys and gals over on the Flatland Sim members Discord. Now, these trucks here, limited 260 clones now, um, and just to mention this event, it's all going to a bit of fun, but we're, you know, all participants were trying their best to keep as serious and as clean as possible. Um, just to note, I was in a Discord call at uh, the point of recording, however, for some reason, the video shadow play, cough, cough, um, didn't record that. I think I've got my audio settings slightly mixed up. But I'll get that sorted out for the next episode. Anyway, the Hungora Ring. Interesting circuit in these vehicles. It really is interesting. Um, what you're seeing here at the moment in the background is just one of the bought uh, qualification maps, but I just got on as a background bit of a. Uh, demonstration just sort of what the track's like and um, how these trucks sort of handle. Um, but yeah, I suppose without further ado, we'll uh, get straight on to um, describing qualifying. So uh, here we are in the pits. If you're wondering, I'm doing a voiceover after the main recording. Um, it's just because obviously during racing it's going to be hard to describe what you're doing. You're more focusing on things and as you'll find out later on in this video. I had quite an adventurous uh, start. Anyway, um, 15 runners, um, 15 qualifiers as well. Um, at the beginning of this race, uh, so 15 positions um, to up for grabs. Um, and as you can see, I'm number two out of the pits um, behind me. You'll come to see this person later, uh, Norsky. He's a... Uh, yeah, I mean, on game term, in so terms of pace, we are quicker. Uh, well, he is quicker, than me, but uh, in terms of defending, we are both fairly equal. I can often hold him back for quite a long amount of time, so we are fairly rivals in that respect. Um, but yeah, I let him pass there just because there's no point in doing anything. Yeah, you know, I'm here to warm up the tires. We're here to actually start the um, you know, an actual qualifying lap. Um, so here we are. We're coming up to the second to last hairpin. Oh, the corner names escape me. Um, just warming up the tires, and uh, <laughs> you can imagine this is very much like a Formula One qualifying session here. Everyone's out bunching up behind each other. And here we go, just to let you know, the first slap I do get wrong. Um, we'll see why in a minute, but yeah, um, as we are approaching last hairpin onto the pitch straight, um, I'm going to shut up and let you uh, watch. So I just had to break the uh, slip shoe from Nairo. <laughs>
pulls this up. Nairo, go, pa go past, go past. So as you can see, uh, overcooked it and bonked the wall. Um, <laughs> is the um, best way I can describe what happened there. Um, so, second attempt of that, that puts behind uh, the fastest person, which actually became a bit of a, it was a sort of omen there. Because I managed to follow this person's line a bit to help me get a slightly better improved to that time. Um, I'll let you sort of sit back and watch the last lap as well, but I'll just uh, make a couple of notes here. Um, as you can see, you're sort of going down these trunks a little bit squirrely. Um, obviously, I'll try and take the apex as late as I possibly can, well, as early as possible, can, and swing myself out wide. Um, approaching the bridge, I'm going to be breaking the 100 meter marker. Into third, you can really look at how hard I'm sort of working the steering wheel um, to keep control of the braking. This bit accelerate into fourth. Nice and easy. It's a fairly simple sort of a lap to do then. You approach and you just want it here, you break it to third, and then you uh, take as much go as you want on the left and you let it ride wide on the right. Hug the inside here on this hairpin as much as possible, then you let it come out wide again. Um, working the steering wheel as hard as possible. Uh, slowing down into third from the chicane. Again, take as much care as you like. Um, don't go that wide as I did. Um, Nairo lets me pass here um, as he wasn't on a fast lap. Um, as you can tell, I just acknowledged that. Um, go to sort of a nice series of that of a fast um, sort of left right hander. Um, slam the angles on here into third, to bring it to the right, um, and again use as much curve as you want here. Um, down the straight, once you're breaking somewhere between the 150 and 100 meter marker, it's closer to the 100 meter marker into third and take up some of the curve on this side. And right out to the left. Uh, break just as you reach the Pirelli uh, foot bridge. Around the hairpin, take it as kind of close to the um, A A page as you want to let it ride out wide here, but not too wide. Um, and here, you want to extend your wind to come a little bit later, get a late apex. Uh, and as you can see, as we're coming down the pitch straight here, um, we're going to get a lap time of 2 minutes 21.2. Uh, no, 2.4. Um, so, a decent lap time uh, in a quality setup for uh, someone who's not used to this truck. As you'll see, and that puts us about fifth. But, uh, that's just the, um, that was the easiest part of the day. Um, so, after qualifying, uh, we had a little bit of a rest period, and then that period, uh, you know, I decided I'm going to change my t-shirt. And unbeknownst to me, my steering wheel decides to reset itself. What that means is that I've um basically got a steering wheel which uh now has no force feedback. Which will make the race a hell of a lot harder for me. Yay. So, starting in fifth, with a wheel with no force feedback, so I have no idea what's happened to the tyres. In vehicles not familiar on, in, in a truck I'm not familiar in. We only go one way, so uh, I'll let you watch the lights out and the start.
like force feedback, man. Lost that. So it's at this point that I actually realised the magnitude of a problem here. Um, you notice that I'm fighting all over the place to try and keep control of the vehicle. Basically, I'm relying on the sound and visual references only. At this point. Shut the door um, on me. And obviously, I get the door shut on me at this point. Mate. And I had to last 45 minutes like this, plus two laps. So, as a result of my steering wheel difficulty to a poor start, I now end up behind, um, I end up behind, um, Finley. Oh, sorry, I got distracted by my own voice there. Um, and uh, we have a bit of a close fight here for, um, let's say Sim, um, for quite a number of laps. Um, I do try and send it on the inside a few times, as you can tell, it's, um, a bit of a difficult slog. Um, because that's the only way you can, the only way you can really get past it is to send it. That's, you've got no, um, you've got no other option yet. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll let you watch this about our I'll jump in when there's a change or a development.
with that overtake, I could finally breathe a sign of relief and start to, you know, push and make some progress and increase the gap there. It was, um, as you can tell, yeah, I had to send it down on the inside there because that was going to be the only chance I could do. He was really uh, defending well. Um, yeah, um, congratulations to Fenley for that, for that amazing sort of defense. But as you can tell, that isn't the end of my struggles. Uh, it's just a little bit further along. A lone Mercedes Atros um, comes up on my arse. Given by uh, the one and only Nordsky. And I'm just queuing up a music change here to sort of suit the mood. In three, two, one, and now. Yes, this battle goes on for about three quarters of that until I uh, stuff it somewhere. So I just let you watch. Got a bell, got a bell. That's right, I just got you on the uh, good old switch for there. Considering the lack of force feedback, I think I'm doing well. So in that last lap, I am, um, yeah. Broke too hard, and not only did I lose one position, I lost two positions. I did manage to gain one back, um, capitalising on a mistake made from um, uh, Finley there. Um, but yeah, I, I, to be honest, I didn't need to even. I didn't need to wait that long. Um, I had to wait about a lap and a bit longer until Nazi made another mistake. And I was able to take advantage, and this time I might have been a little bit more lucky with it. Just might have been. Um, as you can tell, it's all about this point of the race. The pit window's going to be open um, in a few seconds of time, so going to be starting to think about pit. I did make a mistake on my pit strategy a little bit. Um, went for less fuel rather than filling up the tank, uh, which, to be honest, was probably a little bit of a mistake on my behalf. Um, but a bit, I mean, 100% was. I forgot to change it before I hit drive. Um, here you go, yeah, you've seen lots of just overcooked. I have overcooked as well because I'm too busy with him. But oh, yeah, I managed to get it, get it back together quite quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of thinking about when do I pit, what, you know, how long do I pit for, how much fuel do I need, tyre pressures, what do I have them, do I keep them the same as I had stock before, do I shake them a little bit? Um, I'm also going to be watching the cars behind, seeing when do they pit, and uh, deciding do I pit to cover off an undercut or do I attempt an undercut? 
uh, myself, which may or may not work in my hat favour. These are things I was sort of considering, but yeah, um, as you can tell, I guess it's getting a little bit close to me again. And a, a battle will be about to commence shortly. But this time I'm a little bit more lucky with it. Um, I've put enough space between myself and Philly's gotten involved in the mix there to sort of keep little Scooty at bay just for that little bit longer. Um, we are approaching now uh, sort of time for the pit window. Now at this point in the race I am definitely considering my pitting options and sort of changing my strategy. Um, just see behind me there that Finley and Norsky have a little bit of a Altercation, seems like Finley lost it for no reason. Norsky comes flying up on the air pit. And I'm looking at my very few mirror at this point, and I see that he's going into the pit. I'm thinking, right, I need to pit next lap. Um, so that is exactly what I plan to do on, this trip, on the pit straight. It's not sort of a pit strategy. Um, and as you can see in the, in the next, oh, in the next uh, cut, you'll see, I make the decision to enter the pit myself. So at this point, entering the pit, uh, I've got the fuel, so I've got the tyre set for uh, pit stop. Now, the main goal here is to stay ahead of Norski. Um, that is all I'm hoping for. Uh, I didn't know that Ed was in person. I don't say, or fourth, third. Um, did pit in front of me as well. Uh, I think he was going for a nice uh, Will Henwood or Norvest. Um, very quick refueling. Um, no time loss refueling, or some SC tyre changes. Which is, to be honest, that's good. If, as long as you're taking less time to refuel as you are to do the tyre change. Poor oh God, and Edo's there passing us in the pit lane. Um, hits done, head out, up to the pit limit to speed, 30 kilometers an hour. And as you're about to see here, Norski heading down the pit. Straight, and I just resort to Finley's just pitting now. When it's everyone pit, I just went, I'm just pitting now. Um, and here we go. Battle 3. It doesn't go well for Norsky, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, we go around the first hairpin, uh, going down towards the first left hander. Um, uh, the pace will get away well. Break hard here, he breaks a little bit later. I just nearly lose it. Um, but I managed to get back in. The sides are a little bit cooler than I was expecting. So I'm reacting a little bit more differently uh, than I should be. Still managed to get the lap of at this point. And I completely forgot during my pit. I was planning to do some false feedback in the pit. It was a uh, sort of false feedback, but that didn't happen. Look, Ski tries. He overcooks it himself and he goes flying off. Position again. That's it, really. Um, but uh, that's not the only battle I've had to fight. I do go wide here. Let off the throttle and have to use the escape road. Right. 
so we're getting closer to time now and I'm sort of thinking about what positions I can fight for, what positions I can't, whether I can push or not. Uh, going down the pitch straight, I noticed that um, there's a lone dot moving on the map which you can't see because I've put a different camera in. But, uh, it happens to be the dot of a northwest in the pit lane. I pass him <laughs> and I try and keep the position. So uh, let's keep the initial D here, um, as you can hear in the video. Um, and we basically fight to keep this position as well, or well, at least trying to get, get as much space between us and the North as possible. Yeah, I'll let you watch this. Uh, look, there's probably one more interaction from me, and then it, but uh, yeah, I'll let you enjoy. Another fight, another win, I'll call this. Um, just approaching a back marker here. But yeah, the um, next sort of clip you'll see will be basically a few last two laps and this is the end of the race. Um, and this will be the last you'll hear from me, there'll be no more interruptions. Let me know if you have like this, comment, like, thank you. Really, it's that worth it, like, and that's it. If you want to do it, it says, really nice, it's just after it. Um, yeah, let me know. Do you like this? Do you not like this? Do you want to see any changes to it? Would you like to see full races? Let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, enjoy the last two laps. Enjoy my old mistakes here and there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.
I'll be me. Yeah, um, I would have been a little bit. Ah, uh, sugar, honey, honey, tea. Damn it! Then they don't try to distract me on the last corner. <laughs> it's all right. I can pass by now. Oh, God, that was a uh, that was a workout path. 